Hi guys, I'm Nathan with Good Mayhem Racing. Today we are going to be working on the fuel cell mounts, which are going to be made out of box tubing. I've already have a video on this once already. These things work by having the fuel cells mount keying onto this, and this is welded to the frame. Since I finally have the fuel cell in the flesh, I've been able to do dimensionals and measurements on it to figure out how to make it fit better. And I needed to shave about a 16th of an inch off of this box tube and this box tube here so I can get a good connection between the fuel cell and have a little bit of tolerance to make things work right. So what we are going to do now is go ahead and tack both of these tubes in place in the position that's close to where they were originally. Since I'm going to have this mount kind of quick detach and key off, I don't have to have this particularly al aligned. Not perfect. Um, if I'm within an eighth inch, it's going to be fine for what I'm doing. So I'm going to take these tubes, I'm going to take the C-clamp, I'm going to clamp it on, tack weld it, and then tack weld the other one, and then see what type of limitations I have with regards to joint prep and fit up because of interference that I might have around the rest of the vehicle. For example, this exhaust pipe, even though it clears everything in the fuel cell, it might not clear my welds. I'm gonna to have to find that out here in a bit. Three things that I'm gonna to have to need um, for this work. One of them, the parts. We call these the work pieces or the base metal. The other one is the welding equipment. In this case, we are going to be uh, TIG welding right here. We're probably going to be welding around 130 to 150 amps and um, Angle grinder everything's got to be nice bright shiny metal Also a square make sure everything's nice and true to the frame I don't know if I was in frame earlier. Who cares? Oh well, here's the square. It's pulling to this 
side open, so I'm going to rub this side first later on. However, we need to tack this one up. Right now we're going to check that particular back box tube with a level to get it filtered right. Now you don't need to have the mounts level to the ground, to earth. You need it level to each other. That way everything slides on together and all of the mounts so far have a lean to them that's slightly to the back. So we'll be able to fine tune that and match it after we tack everything on in place. However, if you can get a good start, that helps out a lot. Like this guy right here, I can twist it a little bit. I'm just bending my tack to make it match the stuff that's happening over here. That's pretty good. For you to get a closer view of what we're doing. Here's the tack on the top side. Here's the tack on the first wall. So we're going to make sure all of these box tubes are level with each other and square and that will be good enough to start closure welding to the frame.